one of the things that I really admire about all of you and your parents is that this is an enormous leap of faith. You're coming to something that has never existed before. You don't know where this voyage is going to take you. I can only assure you it's going to be worthwhile sailing with us, and we're welcome to have you aboard. I think you all know we're in a renovated building. It's the old gymnasium. For example, the bleachers you're sitting on used to be flooring. There was a dance, floor, a dance studio at that end of the building, which is now a, a classroom, where we cut these footings in the floor. We saved all of the wood, put them through a planer, sanded them. That's what you're sitting on. We have these passive beams, chill beams they're called, uh, that work as an air conditioning system. Uh, as you know, hot air rises, high school physics, pretty simple, right? The hot air comes in contact with cold water that passes through these chill beam, these copper tubes. Let's get cold water. The temperature is just above the dew point so that nothing condenses. The hot air cools. What happens with cold air? It drops. So it's a natural convection cycle. It's so amazing. I've been waiting to get in this building since orientation, like back in May. When they showed us like the slideshow of their ideas, like the computer generated ideas, I didn't think it would actually come out to look like this because you just like can't picture a gym looking like a school. Stand over here. Stand. Stand. Oh, they, they adjust. Huh? That's awesome, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's just steel. Where does that pull that in from? Where does it pull the air in from? The air comes from air handlers on the roof down through those white walls on either side of the yellow. Uh, they go, there are vertical ducts, then they run horizontally and go down in the uh, below, in the room below, and then they come up here. So it was a rather tricky way of getting, because we didn't want to have ducts running along yeah. the ceiling. We had limited ceiling height. And these are just... Uh, 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 galvanized metal. Yeah, I kind of know all about this. So. You do? Yeah, well, you can machine. give a lecture on it. Oh, no, I wouldn't give a lecture on it. <laughs> not even give a lecture. It's what's going to be in the future. I mean, everything's going green, buildings going green. I mean, everything. So it's going to be a big opportunity for me, definitely. This is a, a roof of sedums, which are succulents. Uh, they don't need a whole lot of water. Um, the reason we chose these is that it was the lightest living roof that we could, vegetated roof we could um, provide because it's on an existing uh, structure, steel structure. This, these uh, leach water through, uh, so does the paving. These are impervious, uh, I mean, uh, pervious paving uh, blocks made out of a uh, rubber material, and that allows the rainwater to go down. And it insulates the roof. It's really using vegetation to insulate the roof. And from the upper campus, particularly when you're coming out of the sports center here, you look down on a beautiful uh, variegated roof color. My hope is that we would have about 200, 250 students. I mean, you, you reach a limit, I think, when you, when we introduce the graduate programs, um, we are going to test the market, so to speak. We, we're giving three architecture degrees, one pre-professional and two professionals. Uh, we will be able to then augment those with a, a more focused graduate offerings when we get a critical mass of students and faculty and when we get more space.